Nudesticked products. Majority of the products that I use today are from Nudesticks. I have bought a few Nudestick products. I've got this, which is the Nudestick Tinted Blur Stick. I reviewed this last year and I do have some things to say about this product. So I went on the Nudesticks website and I noticed that they had a new collection. This is how it comes. It comes in this big black box. This is what it looks like when you open it up and it says Taylor's Sunset Beauty Box. So she is a co-owner of the brand. I think she's a co-owner and a co-founder of the brand. So this is what it looks like. And it says, since the age of 16, I've struggled with my mental health. My journey has taught me the power of self-love, self-acceptance, and being open to help from professionals and those who love me for me. Through the love of my friends, family, and most importantly, myself, I've, oh, I've been able to get through every day. And my health does not define me, and I've been able to find my inner strength, happiness, and success. With every sunset, there is a sunrise. Um, Taylor Frankel wrote that and that is absolutely beautiful. $5 of the sale of this collection is donated to the Love is Louder, the project of the Jed Foundation. Love is Louder was started by actress Brittany Snow. $5 of the sale of this box goes to that foundation to help those who are suffering from mental health. And I love that because I actually have family members who suffer from mental health. I have friends who suffer from it. It's a horrible, horrible thing to watch. So I am very, very happy that $5 of my purchase went to that donation. So let's jump right into the products that we got in this kit. So not only did it come in this cute box, but it also had this inside, this cute little pouch. And I love that because, you know, this is going to be fun to kind of pop into, you know, your suitcase or whatever. It also comes with this and that's how all of the products came. It was inside of this. So it has this little tin container and I love that because it has this nice little mirror. And this is so easy to just kind of pop in, you know, I could put my lipsticks in here, pop it in my purse and then have a mirror, like love that, it's genius. So this kit that I bought retails for $69, it's actually a $140 value. So what comes in this kit, it's called the Taylor Sunset Beauty Box. It has a gel color lip and cheek balm, which is this, and it's in the shade Tay Tay, and I swatch everything later on in the video. And it comes with a Magnetic Nude Glimmers, which is their newest product. It's a liquid shimmering skin type product, and this is in the shade 24 Goddess. And then it comes with uh, Nudies All Over the Blush Color, which is this. This is a stick blush, and this is in the shade Sunset Strip. And on, the out on this side, you have a brush that you can use to kind of blend it into the skin. The brush is detachable so you can clean it, which is awesome. Now you can use the brush or you can use your fingers to kind of tap it into the skin. And it comes with the magnetic eye color, which is this, and this is in the shade Fig. So this is what I kind of have right here in my crease. It comes with the Magnetic Eye Color Pencil in the shade Copper Foil. Now for those of you guys that got the BoxyCharm for February 2019, you actually received the Copper Foil from Nude Sticks. And this is a copper shimmery eyeshadow and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. That's what came in this kit. Now I did have a few extras on the side. It also comes with this awesome sharpener. So you can sharpen your pencils if they start getting dull and you need to sharpen them, which I love having this little sharpener. I've never done a full face of stick products and I thought it would be fun to do a full face of stick products and also try out nude sticks and see how I like them. So I'm excited to try these for the first time here on camera with you guys, go through and show you guys how I created this easy, beautiful beach look. Like, I feel like I wanna go on the beach. My skin is so sun-kissed and just like so healthy and natural. There's no powders on my face whatsoever. Everything is stick and all cream products, which I think is fun. I know that through the camera, the lights are kind of being beaming off of my skin, so I might look a little bit oily, but let me promise you, in real life, I just look very hydrated and very sun-kissed. And being that I'm a dry, normal skin type, this is exactly what I wanna look like. Maybe not behind the camera, but this is how I wanna look. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how I played with all these products. And then later on, I'm gonna swatch everything. I'll give you guys my entire final thoughts on everything that I use today. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Everything we're gonna use today is all stick and I'm super excited about it. First things first, I've went ahead and put on the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I also put on my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now let's go ahead and put on this foundation. So I have this one from Nude Sticks and I've tried this just alone, but this doesn't have any coverage to it. So I think this is for that person that pretty much has good skin. They wanna make their skin look better, but not overly foundation-y, that type of thing. This is a very, very light coverage. I do like how it has a blurring property to it, but I have to use quite a bit of this for it to work for me. But it does blend out nicely on you know, the face. It's just not something that I can use as a foundation only. Like I need more coverage because I have the hyperpigmentation and I have the texture and stuff. I just, I need more coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Matte Revolution Stick Foundation. This is in shade 10 and I'm just going to go, or F10. I don't know if I said F, F10. And I'm going to put a few stripes along here. But this is definitely one of my favorites. It's very smooth and it blends so fast on the face. This is a foundation that I reach for when I really need to apply my foundation fast and maybe I'm in a hurry and I just need something quickly to put on the face and out the door I go. It's that kind of a foundation for me, but you know, I don't recommend this foundation for somebody who has combination or oily skin. This is definitely more on the hydrating side and so I recommend this for somebody who is dry or normal. I'm just gonna like work this into the skin and just kind of get rid of any brush strokes, kind of melt this in. This is such a nice foundation. Like from the day I tried this foundation, I have loved it since. It's so hydrating and just melts into the skin. That's the thing that I love about it is just the melting Oh, it's so good, you guys. I mean, it just melts and you can't even see it sitting there. That's what's amazing about it. Like you really cannot tell you're wearing foundation. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the blurring stick and maybe put it like right here in this area just to kind of blur out like basically setting my face with it. You know how you would put like setting powder on to kind of set everything? That's what I'm kind of doing with this. I'm just kind of using that to kind of blur the pores and kind of blur that center of the face. That's how I would use this product. If you're somebody that needs more coverage, I would use that product to kind of blur things out. Like, let's just say that you don't like powders and you know you don't like the filling of powders on your skin. I like this product for that blurring purpose. It just really blurs things out. By the way, this is in the shade medium four. For my brows, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Dior uh, Brow Styler in the shade Universal Brown. I'm also gonna run, <clears throat> I'm also gonna run the Charlotte Tilbury um, Legendary Brows through my brows because I just kind of, I have a feeling this is gonna be a very natural makeup day with all of the products that I'm using today. So I'm gonna keep everything kind of light and natural. And I kind of wanna keep the brows more on like the bushier, kind of natural side. So I'm gonna take a spoolie and kind of run that through. I'm also growing out my brows. So they're definitely kind of living their best life on my head. <laughs> they're kind of like all over the place right now. Okay, so then I'm just gonna run the Dior pencil through. Okay, brows are on, let's move on to concealer. The only stick concealer I have is this one from Hourglass. This is called the Hidden Concealer, I believe. This is in the shade Natural. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that underneath my eyes. And it kind of has like a waxy texture. This is the concealer that I keep in my purse for those quick fixes that I need, you know, throughout the day. Um, I don't use it very often, but like, you know, if I have an issue with my concealer, whether you know, my eyes start watering or something like that. This is always a nice quick fix for me. Okay, so let's move on to contour. Now, in this little nude sticks pack that I got, this one right here that I showed you in the intro, sheets to what that I have don't really have like a bronzer or anything. So I think what I'm gonna use is just maybe my stick contour. I'll just use this from KKW Beauty. This is the contour stick in shade tan. I'll just use this as my bronzer. 
it's all about just making it work, right? So I'm just gonna blend that out. This is my favorite contour stick anyway. This is my favorite formula because it's so stinking creamy. I mean, the way that she created that, it just blends out so nice on the face. I feel like it's a little bit underrated. Like, I don't really hear people talk about it much anymore because I'm not gonna be using bronzer. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that like right here in this area, kind of bring it forward. I'm feeling very refreshed. Okay, so this actually come in that kit that I bought. I think I might buy the bronzer in this, and I probably should have, but I really didn't think about it because for some reason I thought the bronzer came in it, so that's my bad. This is the blush, and this is in the shade Sunset Strip. So this is pretty unique because it has a brush right here, and this brush is detachable so that you can clean the brush and then you can screw it back on, which it's very easy to take on and off. Um, and then on this side, you have the actual product itself. I'm gonna try it with the brush and just see, but I kind of have a feeling this might be a product that works best with my fingertips. So I'm just gonna like do this with it and just kind of dab it on my face. Oh, I might've gotten a little bit too carried away. Okay, yeah, that, bl that brush isn't working. This does melt into the skin really nice. Okay, so don't do what I just did. I went to uh, put it back on without unscrewing, without screwing it back in, so don't do that. <laughs> I'm kinda dumb. But this looks so natural on the skin. It just doesn't really look like you have makeup on, as far as that goes. It just kinda like sits there and looks really natural. I like that. So it also came with this, which is their new product. This is called the Magnetic Nude Glimmers, and I have it in the shade 24 Karat Goddess. So it has a stick on it, and this is to be applied as a highlighter. And you can also, you know, use it on your eyelids or whatever. So I'm just gonna kinda like melt that into the skin on the high points of my face. really know that that made much of a difference to be honest. I prefer the one from Charlotte Tilbury like this one you will see right away when I put it on. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and you'll see right away that I get that instant. See that? So much like more vibrant than this one. So this is the side with the Charlotte Tilbury and then this is the side with the nude sticks. So you can kind of see the difference the nude stick one is fine, but it's not as shimmery and not, it doesn't have, it doesn't pack the punch quite like the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So let's put a little bit right here on the nose. It's a nice formula. It's just this one, this shade in particular is just not that impactful, you know, like it really doesn't pack the punch. I mean, I don't know. I can't really see it. For my eyelids, I'm just gonna take that concealer and just kind of go over. I need to kind of get just a blank canvas. This is definitely a fingertip type of look where, you know, your fingers, your hands are gonna be like your best friend. The warmth of your fingers, kind of going back old school. Before we used to apply everything with a sponge or, you know, brushes, we just used our hands. And I mean, I've used my hands for years. And so this was kind of giving me that vibe where, you know, I feel very just sun-kissed but very natural, like I just stepped off the beach type of, that's the type of feeling that I'm getting, where I just stepped off the beach and my face just looks very sun-kissed, very healthy, very dewy, 
but I know it's probably coming across oily through the lights and stuff. This is looking really pretty in real life. So this one in particular can be used as a lip, your cheek, you can put it on the eyes. This one is for the eye color. Now this one is called the Copper Foil and I actually just got this in my BoxyCharm so I'm actually not going to open this up because I have this one right here. I'm actually gonna put this away and throw this in a giveaway because there's no point in me opening it when I already have one, right? I do have several of the Trustiques. Um, I have these ones right here. I don't know how you pronounce it, Trustique? Trusty, I don't know. Anyway, I have several of these. I've used them a little bit, but not enough to be like, I know how to use them. You know what I'm saying? I also have the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I have a set of four of them. They're not my absolute favorite, but I like them. This one is from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Rose Gold. This kind of has a shimmer to it. And I'm just gonna pop that right up here, right below my brows, and just kind of highlight those brows. Okay, so I just found this from Nude Sticks. Somehow I have this. I don't know if I got this in a boxy charm or what. This one is in the shade J Mama. And this is a lip and cheek balm. This one that actually came in the kit is called Tay Tay. This is J Mama and this is Tay Tay. Just so you guys can see what those shades look like. They're very creamy. I mean, these are exceptionally creamy products. Oh, I also have a shade Kiss. Where did I get these? I have no idea, you guys. I have no idea where these come from. This is also a lip and cheek pencil, but this is in this, this is in matte. So these two right here are gel colors. So they're more of like a balm, but this is a matte. This is all from the brand Trustique. So I have a ton of these. So if you guys like this video and you guys want to hear about the Trustique brand, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely create a video using the Trustique brand. So the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks I have are, is this little set of four. So Vanilla Kiss is a matte, uh, just a light shade like a matte cream base shade. And then All Natural is kind of like a light purple shade. And then this one is Amethyst. So this is just a deeper, but it's a really pretty shimmery. See how pretty that is? Now the thing that I will say about the caviar sticks is that once you put them on, you do need to work fast because once they set, they are not going anywhere. Like they, they, they stay locked and loaded. I mean, they, I mean, I've had these last me all day. I've worn them a few times and they really blend out nice. So this is the shade Rose Gold and this one has the shimmer in it. And that's what I kind of just popped right up here. But once they dry, they dry and they set down. So, you know, you can kind of manipulate them and kind of blend them in with your finger or with a brush. You need to work quickly. They're not really that forgiving when it comes to, you know, really wanting to kind of blend them in and, you know, kind of perfect it per se. These are, you know, you gotta put them down and you gotta work quick because, but the nice thing is once you're used to applying them, then you won't have any issues with it, like sliding around or, you know, going all over the place, like they stay put. I think for my lip, I'm gonna put this on. Dang, that's such a pretty lip. So natural, it's beautiful on the lip. Again, that's in the shade Tay Tay, and I love the way that looks. Love it, love it. Okay, so for the eye, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brush. You know that you get in the palettes. I'm gonna use that stiffer part of the brush because I feel like with these type of products, if you're gonna use a brush and you don't wanna use your finger, I feel like it seems to work better with a stiffer brush. So I'm gonna use the Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Fig. And I'm gonna basically, let's see, maybe, wait, should I put something? All right, let's go ahead and put this on the eye first. So we're just gonna play around. So this is just, this is what I just put on the lips. This is in the shade Tay Tay. And I'm just gonna kind of like pop that on my lid. Kind of just blend that out a little bit. This is giving me summer vibes. Like I can feel that this would be something that I would wear during the summer. So now I'm gonna go in with that color fig. I'm gonna pop this right here on this outer corner and keeping it like right here in the crease and then like creating a V with it. Kind of like that. Let's see what that does. So I'm gonna take the stubby end of the brush and just kind of blend that in. I 
Oh my gosh. These blend nice. By the way, I will say they blend much easier than the caviar sticks, but I'm curious if they last like the caviar sticks because these are blending amazing. Wow. I just went and grabbed a little bit from the tip and I'm just gonna kinda like shade that into the crease. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I might be uh, addicted to these <laughs> by the time I get done. These are so natural, you guys. Like, I am so impressed with the way that they blend. So natural, right? Oh my gosh, what in the world? Why have I not been using these before now? So easy, you guys. So I just created that little bit of a V, just a tiny bit of a V right here. It's almost foolproof, almost like you can't mess these up. I'm so blown away. Oh my gosh. What in the world? I freaking love this. Oh my gosh, I have to have more of these. Like I have to have everything that they, oh, oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Oh my gosh, that is so easy. That is so easy, you guys. Okay, I, okay, I'm gonna calm down because I'm getting too excited over this. All right, now I'm gonna put the shade Copper Foil and I'm gonna pop this right here in this inner corner and kind of bring that to life over top of what we put already in there. Like you don't even have to be very precise with this. You can just throw it on. Let's see what this will look like right there in that inner corner. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out and then blend that into that copper. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab the stubby end of my AVH brush and I'm gonna put some right here on the tip of this brush. And I'm just gonna kinda of like blend that into my lower lash line. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. Oh my gosh, I am, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why do I not have all of these? These are so easy to use, you guys. Like, these are foolproof. And I feel like they're very, very forgiving and very beautiful and flattering, especially on mature eyes, because they just give that healthy looking glow. I have really deep set eyes, so I don't really have the wrinkles on my eyelids. I mean, they're getting more as I've aged, but I still don't get the wrinkles like somebody who doesn't have the deep set eyes. And like, if I feel like if you have um, more wrinkly eyes or you have hooded eyes, I think these would just be so flattering versus the dry matte eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, I am completely loving this. Like So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this blush for you. So that's what Sunset Strip looks like. And then this is the shade that I have on my lips. This is the shade Tay Tay. So that's what Tay Tay looks like. There's Copper Foil, so beautiful. I love that copper. Oh, it's gorgeous and so pretty. So there is J Mama. J Mama is a lip and cheek balm. So is Tay Tay. Tay Tay is also a lip and cheek balm. And then this is the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek. This is in the shade Kiss. So that's what shade Kiss looks like. And then finally, we have uh, the Magnetic Matte Eye Color in the shade Fig. So this is what shade Fig looks like, and I love that shade, oh my gosh. It just turned out so beautiful and so simple and like undone. It's like that soft undone eye look that I'm living for. I'm also gonna swatch this for you just so you guys can see. This is what shade medium four looks like. 
kind of blended into my skin but as you can see that's what shade 4 looks like let's go ahead and swatch this nude stick in 24 karat goddess so this is what 24 karat goddess looks like and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out so don't get me wrong this is a very natural but it's not as blinding it's not as pigmented as my Charlotte Tilbury I just went ahead and threw on some mascara and I have to say this I am completely blown away by this brand I'm very excited because I feel like I found a brand that I am really excited about and I want to dive in more and just really play with these products and I have just from the first second that I put that blush on I was like okay this is pretty and then when I put this on the outer corner and I just seen how easy it was to blend you cannot get this natural eyeshadow look with powder eyeshadow it just cannot happen this is so natural but so beautiful at the same time I am in love with this. You can also buy a few sets on the Sephora website. So Sephora also carries the Nude Sticks brand, but it seems like you can get the you can get really good deals and a lot of nice kits for a pretty decent price because these right here retail for $26. This is the Lip and Cheek Balm and the Magnetic Matte Lip Colors also retail for $26. So there's a few kits that you can get on their website. Like for example, my kit was 69. There's another kit that is a soft and smoky uh, Babe Boss to Party Boss in 10 minutes. That retails for $59 and you get uh, you actually get six of these so that's pretty incredible that's a great deal because if you buy these individually they're gonna cost you more money um, there's also a jet setter palette by Mary Phillips Mary Phillips is a, a beautiful makeup artist she does some of the best celebrity makeup like ever it's amazing I will put that kit right up here so you guys can see what that looks like but that's an awesome kit as well if you're wanting to kind of build a collection of these in my opinion it's best to buy the kits and the best deal that you can get these kits is on the nude stick website so I recommend if you're new to this brand I recommend heading over to the nude stick website and looking at all of the products that they sell look at all the kits because they have some really really nice kits on the website so that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel truly means the world to me and i hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness i will see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m and i love you guys so much bye